Hello, I'm Louise and I'm joined today by Leon. Hello. Uh, who has been playing lots of Uncharted, mm -hmm. but today we're going to talk about the fact that there's loads of unlockable little photo modes or sort of ways that you can play the game after you've finished. Like modifiers, basically. Yes. Yeah, so you, at the end of the game, you accrue all these sort of points by sort of different challenges and doing things. I finished the game with 173 points, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they all came from, but... There's all these modes at the end that let you add filters, so you can have like cell shaded or black or white, or do like Instagram filters. You can make everyone white for some reason. You can make it look like an 8-bit game. You can make it look like the Matrix, like or, ASCII. Or arc. slow things down. There's bullet time, there's slow-mo, there's anti-gravity. There's basically all these different kind of modes and character skins that you can spend these points on at the end. Like I say, I had 100 and... 70 something points and I basically kind of unlocked everything I was interested in and, and stopped like, I do mean, we think they're associated with trophies or anything or um, is it I, just doing certain things I think things? it's yes, trophies and it's just achievements and, and completing the game um, so I guess you can, if you want you can go back and learn more I suspect it's tied into multiplayer as well it never, it never told me during the game that I was earning points yeah. for this um, and yeah, so yeah, you, if you want, you can play a sort of cell shaded kind of Borderlands type thing. I quite like the 8 bit version. There's, there's um, audio modifiers as well, so you can yeah. make them sound like chipmunks or you can make them sound low. You can give them helium voices, 8 bit voices. The cell shaded uh, version is beautiful. Cell shaded. Like actually Lovely, gorgeous. Yes. I mean, it must be sad for the fact that people that make cell shaded games and then Naughty Dog just throw it out as a bonus. They're like, yeah, you mm. can do this. And just have it. It's a shame as well. Like, you almost can't unlock some of these at the start because that would be a lovely way to play the game first time around. But the fact that you can do it entirely, like it's like an Instagram skin that's permanent, which is kind of yes. amazing. Yeah. And, and also there's photo mode too, right? Where you can have Yeah, so the photo, mode, the photo mode is there all the way through. So okay. you can do photo mode all the time, but you can't sort of access some of the filters until until then. Um, and yeah, photo mode is you act, turn it on the menu, double click the, the two sticks, and then you can tilt, rotate. I mean, it works the same as it did in The Last of Us. You just, you can... Yeah. Do whatever you want with it. Take the picture, apply given, all these m different sort of filters to it. Given how pretty Uncharted Four is, it's actually going to be a problem to walk anywhere if there's a photo yeah. mode. That's oh, going to be a disaster. That yeah, was Mad lovely. Max was a disaster, so this is going to be crazy. Yeah, I mean it's a beautiful game anyway, and then you just got all this kind of extra weird stuff. Oh, extra pretty stuff, and then there's the weird stuff. So you get these kind of white. You can turn everyone white. You can add um, kind of these weird rainbow maps and and just sort of weird stuff. So you can make the game look awful if you want and I don't you can know make why. people wear tuxes right yes yeah so there's different character skins and you can sort of yeah vary the the single player skins you play with cool. um layer it all on so you could you could have drake in a tux fighting a cell shaded game with anti-grav and slow and motion then, and, and slow bullet motion time and bullet and time and then yeah take a picture of it so it's uh yeah i mean it doesn't add like a huge amount of kind of like it's not a huge thing but it's like a fun extra yeah. thing and lets you mess around There's a little bit of extra sort of life to it at the end it's just like playing with bullet time is nice and it's it's such a lovely game as well the slow-mo is actually quite a nice thing to have yeah because you can see some of the detail even just like re reload animations and stuff suddenly you can see what's just going appreciating on appreciating the sort of world around yeah we were saying earlier in the office like when you're hurtling through these incredible areas you don't actually really get to see them but these are things that people have worked on forever and they're, they look amazing yeah there's whole so, there's so whole cool. chunks of the game that just whistle past and you kind of go that was that was quite pretty and, but it's gone like, yeah so yeah like playing it through a second time with a few bits and pieces added on it's lovely and it's really really cool so yeah. Yeah, more reasons to play again. Yep, yep. Um, we've got obviously the review and more Uncharted stuff on the site, so check that for more. If you like this, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Yep, keep your eye on Games Radar.